Dirk Nowitzki, one of the premier shooting power forwards of all time. Well, I will tell you, I've been around a lot of great shooters uh, in my 30 years in the NBA. Tremendous shooters, some of the best ever. And Dirk is, you know, as good as any of the players that I've ever been with. Right side, Nowitzki, his jumper. Bang! Good for three. Dirk Nowitzki has oh. just sealed the deal for the Mavericks. Oh, boy. What a shot. Dirk takes more shots than anybody else on our team. Uh, he comes uh, early, stays late, and then he comes early to the arena and shoots some more before our last game. Uh, he, his shirt was totally wet prior to our pregame meeting at 45 minutes before the game because he had been out taking shots for probably 45 minutes and working at it, not just putting up shots, but intensely working to make the shot. Yeah, we got the flashlight. Oh. We got the mic guarding me. Oh. Oh. Everybody called him Larry Burke. That's it. He even kind of looked like Larry Burke. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, whatever. Seven footer, you know, can shoot like that. What an amazing performance by a guy who is really revolutionizing the power forward position. That's why he's an all-star. That's why he's our leader. He just go out there, and we depend on that jumper each and every day. And, um, you know, it's a big part of our offense. So as long as it's staying the way it is, you know, we're going to be successful. He may not get the shot, but you want it to be in Nowitzki's hands. Three seconds left for Stackhouse. There you go. Nowitzki for three. There you go. Got it the You can't execute it any better than that. I usually go out with like 90 minutes on the clock and, and get some shots up and and uh, that's where you feel sometimes, hey, it's, it's going to be a good night, you know, the shot's feeling great. On a December evening in Dallas, Dirk and the Mavericks were set to square off against the Houston Rockets and their newly acquired offensive weapon, Tracy McGrady. Before long, it became very clear that the scoreboard would get a workout. A tough matchup for Juwan Howard all night having to chase Dirk Nowitzki around. You knew early the first quarter uh, Dirk was going to come out aggressive, and, and uh, he came out aggressive right away. Uh, he hit his first three shots, and then McGrady, man, he was at an all, all-time level. He might have had 18 or something in the first quarter. McGrady. Yes, uh, Tracy McGrady looking for his shots here at the start. He wants to put a show on here. You've got to know that going in. He's going to take a lot of shots tonight. Because he's pushing the ball. Here's McGrady again from downtown. I had to guard Tracy for a little bit, and he well, he wasn't missing. Dirk wasn't missing. I mean, pretty much like those guys were playing one on one, and everybody else was just watching. I mean, it was crazy. Levitsky played about as tightly as uh, one can play. Scott Patrick was all over him. How do you guard that? Six eleven shoots from up above his head. And how about McGrady at the other hand getting it over? Dirk Just no defense you throw at him uh, can hinder them on that particular night. You know, T. Mac was just in the groove, and I've seen a lot of his nights. I think he, he scores more against us than any, any player. So I've seen those guys have some great nights uh, firsthand, front row seat. So when those guys get in that zone like that, man, there's, there's no defense for them. But Brady with no hesitation. Why not? Yes. Why From not? Downtown, Tracy McGrady. In this superstar shootout, both had 25 points at halftime, and Dirk picked up where he left off in the second half. And the Vitsky from downtown. 28 for Dirk Nowitzki. Well, you know it when he gets to, you know, when he gets to about 38 and he's shooting a high percentage, <laughs> and and when the ball is not even touching the rim. Say maybe this a night where we want to really milk him quite a bit. You know, just the game and the ball just kept coming to me, and, and they swung the ball to me, and uh, you know, obviously the teammates did a great job finding me. It's Nowitzki knocks down another jumper, 32 now. Not to be outdone, T Mac continued his own offensive onslaught. McCready to the rim. He has 29 points. And the Rockets are with it. Three. Tracy McGrady has been unconscious here tonight. 
we wanted to stop him so bad to get the, get the win, but it was just impossible. You know, he just kept coming and, and kept making big shots for him. And, uh, it, was, it was fun to be in, though. I mean, uh, T-Mac actually looked at me once. He was like, you know, he kind of winked at me, and I was just like, you know, it's, it's on. It's, it's a fun game. It has been a shootout between Dirk Nowitzki of the Mavericks and Tracy McGrady of the Rockets. Oh, why not if you're McGrady? Why not? Let it fly. Tracy McGrady with a spectacular game. 42 points. Dirk Nowitzki with 43. The game went into overtime, and so did the spectacular two-man show. There's Nowitzki off balance. What a duel between these two guys. It's one of those nights where, you know, it was an overtime game, but you still could have kept on playing for another three hours, and that game was an amazing feeling. Levitsky is fouled. It counts! Yes! And the foul! Oh, my! That was an amazing performance by both players. Fortunately, uh, uh, Dirk was able to get a few more. Levitsky from way downtown. Yes! Come on! You've got to be kidding me. 53 points for Dirk Levitsky. We are seeing one of the great performances in many years. He made some tough shots. We were all over him, and, and I would make a shot. He'd come right back and, and drill a three. Uh, on, on somebody with, with like two hands in his face. So T-Mag is one of the most amazing players. When he's hot, he's, he's so tough to guard. And uh, I'm just glad we, we stopped him enough to win.